living luxuriously for less? Well, we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So if you joined me on yesterday, I did a vlog and in that vlog, I um, took you guys kind of through my journey of decorating a house for a client. And um, it was very different for me because you guys know that I'm not really a vlogger per se. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. But at any rate, today I'm going to be doing the reveal. Um, Oh my gosh, like I absolutely love the way that it turned out. It was so tranquil and so relaxing and that's exactly the feel and the look that the client was going for. If I had to give her um, style a name, I would say it would be more of a modern farmhouse mixed with some boho chic element. So you'll see a lot of woods. It you know gives you that restoration hardware, CB2, type vibe with a little bit of modern farmhouse and boho chicness because she's all about you know making sure her atmosphere just feels really clean lots of live plants and things like that throughout her home so i thought that the colors that i chose meshed really well with the actual furniture that she already had in place so when i first started this um, i did a poll on my instagram and i asked you guys how many days you thought it took me to you know decorate this house and it actually took me only one day to decorate the hard thing was finding furniture finding the pieces like finding the small furniture pieces the accent pieces the the um drapery the bedding like you guys i had to go to the store every single day i went to the store maybe like three or four days to collect everything that i needed to do her house so once i went into her home i had everything i needed to install it and put it in place so i am going to stop chatting here and show you guys the before and the after and then i'll meet you on the flip side so that we can discuss it more so let's hop in Okay, you guys, so when I started to think about the design for this space, I knew that I absolutely loved her furniture. It really gave me that restoration hardware, CB2 feel, very, very heavy, um, very sturdy, and those things are very important to me when you're talking about your bedroom furniture. Like, I feel like your bedroom furniture and your living room furniture should definitely be pieces that you make investments in, so I did want to remove the curtains and just kind of clear out uh, some of the space before we got started with the decoration process and I like to start with the bed okay you guys now we have a clean slate and um, that's what we're going to start with and then I'm going to start with decorating the bed and then I'll move on to the wall so let's get started Okay, you guys, so now that everything has been cleared out, we're going to go ahead and start making the bed. To me, the bed is the focal point of the room. If I'm walking into a hotel room or my bedroom, I like for it to, you know, be the focal point. And I know that in this camera, um, it looks like, well, it's not really quite centered on the wall, but it's centered with the ceiling, if that makes any sense. But for some reason, like when I do the forward facing camera situation it turns it backwards so the window is actually on the right hand side of the room you guys will see that in the reveal i actually got the camera fixed but i'm starting with the black bedding because the linen curtains had like black stitching in it but it just feels a little bit heavy to me um, as I'm making the bed. It's really not doing exactly what I want it to do. And um, you guys will see me kind of switch it out and use it more as a coverlet um, and, you know, maybe an accent piece and then use the coverlet on the bottom, the lighter color co uh, coverlet on the bottom. Now, I did like the black on the bottom, but the problem with it, once I got the bed made up, I didn't like the fact that you could not see the coverlet because the coverlet was so stunning. And to me, it was just kind of the show. And when I'm making up the bed, I like to put pillows that 
you know, um, my clients are actually going to use. I like to put those on the bed and then disguise them with the decorative pillows. I just think it's so important for it to be, you know, highly, highly, highly functional. And so that's what we were talking about there. She was saying, you know, I wish, you know, I had done this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You won't be able to see the pillows that you use every day. Um, I'm going to cover those up with the decorative pillows. But when you get ready to go to bed at night, um, you'll have your regular pillows already there in place. And you it, it kind of takes up some room or space with the bed. And you guys know I've been you know, chopping my pillows since I've been on YouTube. So um, I love to put that chop. It just gives it that fresh designer feel. And then I also added a throw and some lamps. Now, once I got the lamps added, I realized they were actually two different lamps. And I realized this when I was at Home Goods, but the issue was that they were so similar that I actually picked up two different ones, if that makes sense any sense at all. So what I essentially ended up doing was taking back the one lamp that's on the left and getting um, the mate. And thank God someone else had made the exact same mistake. So they brought back the wrong lamp too. And so we were both able to get a pair. It was just a blessing y'all because I was so excited to be able to find that lamp. So now that the bed is made, I start working towards the walls. Um, I'm gonna hang up the curtains and I go back and iron them, but I just wanted to make sure they were gonna be the right length and you know everything was gonna be good before I actually um, put the effort into doing the ironing. Um, for this room, again, I wanted it to be very light because the wood was already dark. So I wanted to add a lot of light linens and natural colors and natural fibers and natural uh, textures to her space. And by mixing and matching, you know, pillows and um, drapery and, and the artwork, you know, we were able to accomplish that goal. So, yeah, that really um, was a huge feat for me. And when I found this, I knew that I wanted the curtains to be light. The fact that it was a four pack and it was the right length, I just knew that that was just kind of, a sign to me that we were headed in the right direction in terms of the style, the overall style um, for the room. So yes, and the curtains were by Ralph Lauren and I did get them from Home Goods as well. Again, I hauled all of this in a separate video. So if you guys missed that video, go back and check it out. Um, I will leave the link in this video so you guys can go back and see like where everything came from because I name it out item by item. So um, definitely go back and check it out so that um, you guys can see if you're interested in where I purchased the item. So everything is coming together nicely and I'm just absolutely loving the linen, the artwork, it's the right scale. Scale is so important in terms of the room. The scale is so important. So the next thing I wanted to do was to warm up the space a little bit more by adding a rug at the foot of the bed. I got this rug at Ross on today. So I absolutely love it. Y'all, Ross is the bomb right now with home decor. Like they are killing it. And I have a haul that's going to be coming up very soon showing you guys the furniture and different items that are currently available in Ross. Now, as you can see, one of the lamps are missing. And the reason why is because I had to take it back to get the match from home goods, which I did find. So Thank God for that. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to just finish decorating so you guys can kind of see how everything is coming together. I was so in love with this. Like when I saw the bed, I knew neutral and black was where I wanted to go with that. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys some nice listening music as you watch me decorate.
this turned out. With all of the challenges that I faced in shopping at our traditional stores like Walmart and Home Goods and um, let's see, Tuesday morning and Old Time Pottery, Hobby Lobby, Lowe's. I mean, I went everywhere to pull these items together. And, you know, I think it did give the room a very collected look when her husband came in, like they were so in love with it. And one of the things that her husband um, said to me was that he wanted to, you know, how I like picked that particular artwork that I used in their room. And I picked it because it gave me both a masculine and a feminine touch, which I think is very important um, in bedrooms when you have a spouse. I just think it's so important to have a little bit of both. And they absolutely love that aspect of it as well. Now she is going to be adding a small chair in the corner next to the TV for reading. They love to read. And then in the other corner, they're going to be adding a live, a huge live plant because the husband deals a lot with allergies and live plants help to keep the air fresh. So that concludes this reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know your favorite aspect down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much more in store for you guys. So yes, so turn your notification bells on, click that subscribe button so that you do not miss out on this content. Thank you for your continuous and unwavering support. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.